My mom likes to tell this story about when I was born and she held me. One of the first things she felt was that I was a writer. And since I was a little girl, I've loved to write. It's that thing that I do, you know, when nobody's looking, when nobody's watching, when I just want to be alone and connect. I was like a rebellious teenager. I used to like carve poetry into my furniture. But I also had this other voice. I don't know if it's the voice of my ego or fear or whatever it is that told me I couldn't do it and that I wasn't good enough, that I didn't have what it takes. And um, I guess I've listened to that for a long time, not even knowing that that was what was guiding me and really guiding some of my decisions or lack of decisions. And a big way it's impacted my life is that I'm 36 years old and I've never really actually, up until very recently, allowed myself to know how much that I want to do this. I didn't even give myself access to that level of desire inside of me. I kept it locked up. And uh, about six months ago, I moved out to Joshua Tree. I was living in LA for 10 years and being in Joshua Tree, there's not a lot of distractions. <laughs> You can't really hide from yourself. And I was experiencing a growing like restlessness and a, a feeling like something's not, something's not right, you know, and anxiety. And I met Rachel, um, she came into my life and told me about the book that she had written, Love Junkie. And I met this just very effervescent, bright person who also had a lot of depth and a lot of grit and honesty. And um, she mentioned her Dream Maker Soul Shaker retreat out here in Joshua Tree. And I just knew I had to be a part of it. Um, shortly thereafter, she sent over this uh, amazing work called uh, The One Minute Memoir. And I sat down and I followed this one minute memoir that she prescribed. And I was able to access my, my voice and tell stories in the way that I had always wanted to tell them. And she has us focus so much on being in the present and recreating and reimagining. And in that experience, I, I got to heal something. I got to crack something open inside of myself and have this um, exquisite experience with writing that reconnected me through all those years it was just like this point where I joined with myself again and being out in this land deeply inspires the work because there's so much openness and mystery here and so um, that happened I met with Rachel we did a, a phone call and she helped me just work through a coaching call she helped me to work through doubts limiting beliefs and all the shit that was in the way of me really, really wanting to do what I love. And it all boils down to, I just didn't think I could. And more than that, I just never really, like, really, really, like, trusted myself enough to do it. But after I wrote that one minute memoir, something in me changed, changed, and it showed me basically like a synthesis of like, how my gifts and talents could be married with craft, and also with the present moment. And so with all of that, I went into Rachel's workshop out here in Joshua Tree, the Dream Maker Soul Shaker workshop. And from day one, like I was cracked open. My intention was, I basically have, have always felt like there's like this faucet, like this cosmic faucet that's kind of coming into me, giving me ideas. And my intention was just to like turn the faucet on fully, you know, and really receive and really allow these, these messages, these visions, to come through me, to pour through me. And the retreat was incredible. We were there with other like-minded writers and the level of like mystery and magic and also craft that we experienced together, um, workshopping our writing, sharing it with each other. It was like part magic and like part workshop. And it was just this whole alchemy of um, creative genius that, that swirled around together and we, we created magic together. And uh, since that point, 
Uh, it's February 1st now, so it's been just a little less than 30 days. And I've been writing, I'm making a commitment to write daily. And it's changing my life. I feel like I'm a part of, I'm a part of this community. I'm a part of, most importantly, like a mind, body, soul connection of like, I'm a part of this planet and I know why I'm here. And it scares me and it exhilarates me, but I am here to be a writer. I am here to be a storyteller. I am here to share this on the page and as Rachel says, on the stage. And so the workshop has really given me the, the moxie and the, um, the knowing that this dream I've had and this prophecy that my mom had when you know, I was born is really gonna come true. And that any fears I have, it's simply resistance in the creative process. But I have more self-trust than I ever have before and um, I'm gonna take it all the way. This is my declaration that I'm taking it all the way. So thank you and um, I recommend uh, one million percent if you have any kind of desire or inkling or just this creativity of, of writing that's that's inside of you this spark that if you and once you attend this workshop in Joshua Tree it will just set a blaze into this beautiful burning fire and it will truly light you on fire and will give you that passion and that enthusiasm to go the distance so I, I wish all of you um, to experience that same alchemy and magic and um, happy writing thank you